Hi! Welcome back to another story with me. I have a great book for you today. If you ever get worried or scared or you're like, hmm, what if this happens? Or what if this happens? Or I don't know, this might happen. Well, this book is perfect for you because it's called Jonathan James and the What If Monster. Hmm, what's a what if monster? Do you guys know? Well, let's read it. It's written by Michelle Nelson Schmidt. The What If Monster, Jonathan James and the What If Monster. Some what if monsters like to hang out and fill up our heads with worry and doubt. They are sneaky and quiet and quick as a blink. The words that they whisper can change how we think. Jonathan James heard those words full of dread and all those what ifs got stuck in his head. Hmm. What if you tumble? What if there's wind? What if you slip and your knee gets all skinned? Have you ever been scared to climb because you're worried that you might fall? Maybe the what ifs monster is reading to me. He, talking to you too. What if they giggle? What if it's chilly? What if you jump and look really silly? Hmm. Have you ever been scared to jump into the pool? What if it's hard? What if you're bad? What if they laugh and make you feel sad? Hmm. Sometimes it's hard to try new things. What if it's ugly? What if it stinks? What if that's what everyone thinks? I would hate to be worried all the time like this, wouldn't you? What if it's yucky? What if it's icky? What if mom yells because you're too picky? Hmm, have you guys ever been worried about food at dinner time? And you're like, hmm, I don't know. What if there's vegetables in that? Sometimes if you take a bite, it tastes really good. What if it's dark? What if it's scary? What if there's something giant and hairy? Be scared of bedtime sometimes? What if you lose? What if you're last? What if you're slow and never get fast? They're running a race. It says one mile, fun run, start. What if she laughs? What if she runs? What if she thinks you're not any fun? Now, wait, just a minute. I have something to say. After hearing what ifs all through the day, I hear all your worries. I hear all your claims. But what if you're wrong? Asks Jonathan James. Hmm, he's asking him now. What if you're wrong? You got all these what ifs for me, but what about you? Hmm. What if I climb to the top of that tree and I never slip or skin up a knee? And what if I jump right into that pool and everyone thinks I look really cool? And what if baseball is nothing but fun and I end up hitting a triple home run? And what if my drawing goes up on the wall and everyone thinks it's the best one of all? And what if I taste some of that food and it puts my mouth in a really good mood? And what if I run in a really big race and have a great time no matter what place? And what if I sleep and have the best dream that monsters are sweeter than all that they seem? And what if the chance I take in the end is just how I find my very best friend? Oh, did that guy make you think something? Maybe, just maybe, all those what ifs could be turned around. And then the what if monster, I think he likes his idea. And that's the end of our what if monster and Jonathan James. I hope you guys liked it. And maybe, just maybe, if you guys are thinking, hmm, what if, I'm, what if I fall? What if I don't do good? What if I get the wrong answer? 
what if I do this? Or what if I, you know, what if they don't like me? I hope that you guys take the chance and say, what if they do like you? What if you don't fall? It's gonna be so much more fun if you go through life just saying the opposite of what maybe you're thinking. Because sometimes if you try, it's a lot of fun. All right, I'll see you guys again soon. I hope you liked our story. Bye.